Hey Zelda fans, welcome back to Capito's Breath of the Wild. Let's play episode 30. Ah, super exciting. So we need to go undercover. And uh, pick up the champion's weapon. Are those more arrows? Yes, please. Huh. I wonder if there's a... like if it's more likely to respawn if you're almost out of them. That kind of thing. I am back. Look at me, I'm wearing pants. Pieces of equipment, priceless treasures of the Gerudo, once worn by Lady Urbosa. <laughs> <coughs> um, so you've got a sword and a shield here. So I need to make room. Uh, I have one of these at home. And I've already got a ton of those. Scimitar of the Seven. And... Daybreaker. Daybreaker is a really good shield. Um, and if, if you break stuff, you can come to <clears throat> Bularia here. The Scimitar requires a Scimitar, <clears throat> which you can find out by the Sand Seals. Over here, there's a scimitar right there, and uh, the shield requires a, a Gerudo shield, which I I feel like there's one in the armory. Um, let's just go over there, look at it for a second. There's definitely a bow over here. Hey, it's Barta. Ah. Uh. Yep. I won't tell anyone you're a bow. Everyone's like, ah, uh, it's not a big deal anymore. Saba Saba. Saba Saba. Sure, <laughs> why not? Aw. Okay, so, anyway, this is the stuff. It's good stuff. The, uh,. They both require diamonds to to uh, to fix if you want to use them. I think I'm gonna go drop something off at home. I'm trying to remember, hmm. I don't know that I necessarily need any of them at this point. So, since I'm not gonna do any farming, well, I shouldn't need to do any more rupee farming. I think this is more than enough to get everything else that I need. Um, so I shouldn't need to do any more of that, <clears throat> which means that I don't necessarily need easy access to a flame blade. And the reason that I keep flame blades and gold blades uh, handy otherwise is whenever I'm going to be farming um, elemental lazolves or lazolfos. And I don't have need for that right away, so I'd probably be okay dropping some of these. Put Daybreaker over here. Um, Scimitar of the Seven. There's the Trident. Basically everything here I can I can lose if I want to. The bow I actually like to hold on to. Um, I might move it here just for kicks and grins, but the 
bows really really good to hang on to in uh, in other in the master quest stuff it's more important to have it because a, re a really good bow is <laughs> is a pretty big deal in master quest <clears throat> I guess I don't know why I went out the door. All right, we got one big old crazy divine beast to go, and then we get to play around with the idea of the fifth divine beast. Which I only did... I've only ever done in Master Quest, so um, I don't know what it's going to look like. Here. I don't know that it should matter that much. Gotta put on my flame breaker stuff. <clears throat> we haven't even gotten the quest for this yet. Oh wait, I'm wearing something that's flammable. That should be fine, that should be fine. Okay. All right, let's go get the quest for this guy. The old chief. Bluto. <laughs> Not necessarily named after a uh, rival of Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Way to go, brother. It's kind of like uh Hulk Hogan, right? He's got he's got kind of the same kind of the same face. Calls everyone brother. Just a big big guy likes to talk in a bombastic mm. way. Unibol. He went to grab some painkillers because you would naturally keep painkillers way away from where you live. Ow. All right, here we go. Well, that did nothing. <laughs> I was hoping that would like shoot me way up in the sky so I could just <clears throat> save some time. But no, that's okay. On the way, we'll get to see some rock Koroks for the first time. There's one right there. Rock Koroks are special. Uh, they suck stuff in first, like this, and then they shoot stuff out. So, <clears throat> uh, you can kill them easy with bombs and stuff like that, arrows, just like all the other stuff. But the difference here is if you have something rusty and you uh, you throw it into a rock Korok uh, while he's doing his vacuum move, he'll spit out a non-rusty weapon or shield, uh, which is crazy handy if you've got, I mean, if you've got a bunch of rusty stuff and... Stop that! Why would I not touch the lever? You know I'm going to touch this lever. Just watch me. See? I touched it. What are you going to do? Nothing. That's right, you're going to do nothing. We've seen this basic mechanic before. Boom. We just took out a Lizolfo. I don't think there's anything over here for us to shoot. But, yeah. That's your that's your basic thing here. You're gonna slowly make your way across uh, this area with a whole bunch of cannons, and you just you just shoot everything you can whenever you can, and uh, try not to fall in the lava. There 
there's two Lizolfos. The only downside to this is that you don't get their drops. Odds are good they're not going to leave their parts behind if they get blown off into lava. So you might see a, you know, a weapon, obviously, but that's about, that's about it. Nope. This is just a regular arrow, but because I'm in the volcano area, it, it turns into a fire arrow. Or I should say, it's on fire. Yeah, I don't even worry about getting drops off these guys. Especially at this point. <laughs> It's nice to have them not shoot at me. But the odds of them falling in such a way that I can actually get their stuff is not always high. Ooh, that was close. <coughs> Yes, 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 yes. Oh, wait. He's <sighs> in the lava. Man. Okay. There's a chest in here. <clears throat> oh, wait. Hold on. The tail. I need those. Ice arrows. So that's something else you could be doing, uh, if, since their red resolves are considered uh, uh, elementals. So if you hit them with an ice attack of any kind, they die instantaneously. So... Huh. I never noticed this little uh, house I got. Abandoned North Mine. Okay. also use a bomb arrow, but, er, well, I think bomb arrows might blow up in this heat.
go. There he is. <clears throat> if you get up here before you blow that open, you can hear him through the rocks, and he's like, please save me, or something like that. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. What am I going to do? What are you going to do? Monsters! They're here! They found me! Help! Huh? 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 Uh huh. Goron youth. How young can he really be? He's, uh, he's pretty big. Hmm. He's got the, uh, the blue tunic. With a cannon. It's not really that complicated. I don't know how your boss does it without uh, bombs. And he's just gonna go roll through the lava. No big deal. There's a couple of chests in here, and then we might hit the shrine that's behind her before we head back to town. Purple rubies. Ice arrows. Whoops. Yeah, I didn't expect her to show up. I don't really have... <clears throat> This is just a cobble crusher, right? Yeah, that's not worth. It's not worth my extra time. So we actually want to go in there. Um, hmm. <clears throat> Let's try something stupid. Because I'm pretty sure there's a Korok on top of this rock. And I think it's pretty difficult to get to the shrine if you don't use the rail system. So it'd be good to have at least one of these things done. It's Beard Face! Lava, lava everywhere. And not a drop to drink. I want to say... Um, I don't think it's that one. I'm pretty sure there's a uh, a lava talos around here somewhere. Okay, we're gonna do something stupid. Oh, it's gonna work. Beautiful. Shoraha. This is not a good fast travel <laughs> location. <laughs> you can't get out of here without messing with the lava. I mean, it's theoretically possible to jump over to the side of the cave and then kind of crawl up to the top of it, but it's such a pain in the butt. It's easier just to go from like, well, once we unlock uh, the Divine Beast location, that's a good jumping off point anywhere in the in the. in the volcano. First uh, royal bow we've seen. Come on. 
Not exactly a uh, representative picture. <clears throat> but it works. Uh, yep. Well, they left us a, a thing at least. Obviously, the water will put out the flame if uh, if it's exposed. Obviously. So the basic thing here is, <clears throat> if you light one of these, water turns on. So you gotta do. No, hold on. Hmm.
Interesting. Okay, well. Something else is you can't use any of the uh, the divine powers while you're inside uh, the shrines. So like I don't have access to to Rivali's Gale or or uh, any of them right now. Just kind of an extra an extra little thing. Some of these obviously, if you had Rivali's Gale you would be able to just jump over everything and you wouldn't have to actually solve any of the puzzles. Um, there's something over there. The other ones I think are just mostly for uh, consistency. But Revolve Scale kind of breaks a lot of these. wouldn't let me get it last time. I tried to do that for the, the one that had three of them, and it wouldn't let me... Uh, wouldn't let me do it. <clears throat> oh, it is what it is. I do have a picture of a torch, right? Okay. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Mr. Guardian Monk, dude. <laughs> you know, if you think about it, 
these guys would have been set up, you know, the shrines and the monks would have been, you know, set up into, into practice about the same time that they were building the guardians. So you think if, if they would have foreseen that the need for the monks was a thing, that they also would have known to make the guardians either better or not exist at all. Right? I'm on fire. Uh, okay. So we're done here. We're going back. We're going back to the Goron City. And we're going to help out uh, the little, little scaredy Goron. He's a good guy. He's just a little, a little scary, a little scaredy. Not super big on confrontation, conflict, getting hit in the face. It's the tiny traveler. Fireproof elixir. Thank you. How could you miss that giant face in the mountains? other champions know. They better eat their gravel if they want to keep up with the roof. Speaking yes. of which, how much gravel do I need to eat every this day? View? Exactly. Just look at all those delectable rocks sprinkled on those mountains. Mighty tasty. I may not know a whole lot about this calamity cannon thing, but mark my words, I'll protect this land of ours to the death. Right, little guys? <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, congrats on becoming the princess's appointed knight. That's a really big deal, protecting the king's daughter. <laughs> no pressure. Seriously, though, the princess is a strong personality. So strong, she can't quite see the range for the peaks. Remember that, and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay. All right. So what was I saying? That was a little strange. As far as I know, Death Mountain has been quiet for decades. But if the mountain is shivering enough to send out a bunch of boulders that size, then never mind. Forget I said anything. Right. And that's always how people forget stuff. And when you say something super dramatic and and uh, foreshadowy, and all of a sudden you say, "Don't worry." About it. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum. <laughs> when I fire him at Redonia. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <sighs> Dumb traveler. Alright. So, uh, you may have noticed, uh, 
Daruk is one of the few Gorons who has, like, hair on his body. Most of them just, just have hair on their head, if at all. And his, uh, his model type, the artist notes about him, was that he wanted to have, wanted to have, like, you know, armor, um, style hair, basically. So it's kind of neat. Kind of a, a unique thing. Um, there's just a little bit of something over here. It's a Korok! <laughs> Lots of rocks. Around these parts. So we actually need to go over here. But in order to do that, uh, we gotta go up and up and out of this, uh, this little path over here. This makes life so much easier. There's a couple other Koroks here, but I'm gonna leave them for a while. So, we can ride this if we want. It's bomb power. This is not a good weapon for this, by the way. Uh, you got some hot springs, so if you're low on health, uh, there is do this. We'll just kind of settle into place. If you need to go back the other way, you just pick it up with magnesium and turn it, turn it around. Wait for this to pass. There's a shrine up here. <clears throat> we should get two, since it's pretty specifically on the way. Well, I say that. Now I'm not 100% sure. There it is. Daka Cole. Daka Cole. This is kind of an interesting one. Stole flight. So yeah, you got this thing. Shooting up into the sky. <clears throat> so basically it gets up here and it touches this and then it opens. But, we gotta get this first. Silver rupee. Always acceptable. <laughs> complicated. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, you can make it a lot more difficult than it needs to be, realistically speaking. Uh, I played around with that, I think, quite a bit before I settled on the, the simplest action. May the goddess smile upon you. Okay. We're back. Back on track. Gonna find the little Goron kid. The little Goron kid. Who's about three times as big as I am. He's being bullied by a moblin. By a black moblin. Oh, two of them. He's got this, like, divine protection thing, which basically means he can't be hurt by anything. I don't... I don't even know if I can sneak up on this guy. Or in this area. <laughs> I can use, a. Uh... Oh, yeah. See that? Bam. So that one's dead. This one's shot. He's about to be dead. Ooh, a drill shaft. Drill shaft is kind of like your your uh, iron sledgehammer in spear form. So it's not not super great for uh, generic. Ah, they already burned up. The drops burned. Come on. There we go. It's not good for generic combat, but it's got some good du durability and it'll uh, it'll take out ore deposits pretty pretty decently. He's not coming. His back hurts. I can do it. <laughs> I'm here to save Hyrule. Oh. Oh. <sighs> oh. You know how to use the cannons, don't you? I do. Be gentle about it. There's no gentle. I don't know.
So these little, these little searcher drones uh, are guardian-esque, but they don't actually do anything except for alert uh, Rudania where where you are. They are unique oh. to this area. Basically, you just whistle when you want them to stop, and you whistle when you want them to follow you. So, uh, you can take these guys out, as opposed to the, the stupid Yiga clan group. You can't, you can't take those guys out without alerting them. But as long as these guys don't see you, um, it is possible to take them out. Right here. To the first cannon. And as soon as the guy gets here, he'll pop inside. Come on, whenever you're ready.
against it. That is very much an opera. Yeah, you gotta be a certain distance from him before he can hear you. Just like your horse, follows the same basic, basic uh, thought process. Get him over here. And I'm gonna stop. either myself or by breaking the weapon. Whoops. One more time. And then I won't use the charge, the Herbosis Fury charge anyway. Because sometimes you want to do a charge attack, but you don't want to use a burst of Herbosis Fury. Because it's awesome and it takes a little while to recharge. So it's good to use sparingly. <laughs> Direct hit. We're getting there, almost. The last, the last big push. what happens whenever I try a bomb arrow. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. <laughs> oh, shoot. That was Mitha's Grace, right? I got four extra temporary hearts uh, in addition to the, the full heal. 
And I guess it, it does happen before you use your fairies. If I used one of these, they would go away right away. <laughs> they would, uh, they would stop existing immediately. <sighs> hmm. I feel like there's a better way to do this. I'm not sure what it is. Cause this can't do anything, right? I guess if I did this. that either. I bet it was Herbosa, Herbosa's Fury. In which case... Booyah. So, let's see. Herbosa's Fury has a respawn time of... 12 minutes. That's not terrible. I guess I should look at Mifa's Grace, too, while I'm here. 21 minutes. So probably 25 minutes before, you know, when it started. Come on, crazy guy. There's a way to make that smaller. We'll do that eventually. But, uh... You know, you gotta be careful about your use of it. Use sparingly. dare you throw a rock at me. Don't notice they're not catching on fire.
Okay. <clears throat> well, that was kind of silly. I picked up his... I dropped my weapon thinking I was going to pick up his weapon, but his weapon fell off the side. So... <clears throat> Taking a lava bath. That was so cool! You really put a licking on that thing, Link. It's time to finish the job. This is our big chance. Did he just jump into the lava? <laughs> no, nope, I guess he's okay. He's got that little piece of fabric. Uh, the whole thing's made out of wood and uh, what I assume to be just regular fabric, but for some reason does not ignite into flames like everything else that's made of wood up here. Which is lucky, because you only get one paraglider. <laughs> okay, welcome to Divine Beast Varudania. This is my least favorite temple. Divine Beast. Whatever. Hey, little guy. Long time. I always uh, knew you'd come back. Just because it's not like of old Redania, back from... it's not as streamlined You're gonna need a as map the other that ones. Shows the guts of this place. You can grab the info from the guidance stone over the. <clears throat> Ancient screw. Completely useless. It is what it is. You gotta open every chest. <clears throat> it's gonna get dark. Luckily, we've got room for a torch, if they want to give us a torch. Dragonbone Bogo Club. That's as good as a torch. We can also do this. Eh, it doesn't quite yep. work. Hi, Sarah. Yep. An actual torch. Yep.
Whoops. It's over here. In the darkness you will find. So this one isn't as complicated uh, as far as what nice the job beast getting can the map do. with the divine beast. The terminals that can to take back you got yes, this. Yes. It, it can only move it can tilt ninety degrees or it can go back to flat where it is now. Um, but the uh, just kind of a, a pain to get through sometimes. Okay, let's do this over here. Terminals remaining. That's the way. Um, let's do this again. So right now, even though I'm in the volcano, I technically don't need to be wearing my heat gear. Uh, but I like to leave it on just because <clears throat> eventually I'm going to need it again. And you don't really care in the meantime. That one took me forever. The first time I I got here, the first time I tried to do this, I for some reason there was some disconnect in my brain of what was uh, what I could do with what. Hey look, I'm still on fire. It just took me forever to, to make that connection.
There are three terminals remaining. All right, let's get moving. <sighs> yes. Maybe. torch is on fire. That's kind of ironic, right? My torch is on fire. I think I need the blue fire here. It's cool to watch him walk. down the tube. Terminals remaining. Just a little more. Ah, uh, I need to back up. I think to where I was before. I'll try and get that treasure chest. Turbosa's fury is ready. Friggin' Knight's Bow. How many of these do you really need?
Ooh, 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 ooh. We gotta be careful. Yes, please. Jeez. Just one terminal remaining. Just one more. Start up them. There should be okay, a new yeah. glow and stay focused. You know what? We're just gonna do this. It's up at the top. Another, another feat of engineering. Uh, you can't actually reach <laughs> most of the area without this this whole beast moving. What 
Watch yourself now. That ugly pain in the crag is Dan and Tandy work. Then got the best of me a hundred years ago. Good luck, little guy. Go get him! Watch out for that sword! Yep, it does a decent amount of damage, doesn't it? Master Sword Power, man. Can't beat it. Not for stuff like this. Okay. That flaming wall is dangerous. Yeah, no, I, 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 I would assume that. Oh, right. Master Sword power, man. That's just can't say enough good things about that against these guys. Trying to beat them without it is fine if you want to do that. fourth um, and non-DLC final Divine Beast. Um, after this you're able to go fight Ganon on more or less equal footing, but that would be silly. There's so much more, so much more to, to mess with. Yes, thank you. Daruk gets to talk a little bit. Daruk's protection is super powerful, but I usually turn it off. Because the handful of times I'm actually shielding, I need to be able to perfect guard, and you can't perfect guard whenever you've got the protection on. Can't thank you enough. But I'll I feel for like while. I should apologize. I was doing all I could to protect Hyrule when that thing got the best of me. Sorry that me resting with the rubble caused such a mess. The good news is, Ruthania is now back under our control. That means that our century old Ganon beatdown plan can finally go into effect. I'm gonna take this down the mountain. I'll have a better shot at Ganon there. And then, once you've made your way into Hyrule Castle, we're gonna light that thing up. I want to give you something. It's a special power of mine called Daruk's Protection. It's no good to me now that I'm a spirit, but it might be useful for you. Here it comes! <laughs> The 
this guy especially, it's really hard to believe that he got beaten by that, by that thing. He's got, you know, he's got this thing that makes him pretty much invincible, impenetrable. From this moment forth, the power of protection from the depths of my soul now lives inside you. Good luck, little guy. And give my regards to the princess. is in the castle, Rutania will unleash an epic blast. Ganon won't know what hit him. Hyrule looks pretty good from up here, even after a hundred years. The old rolling grounds sure are a sight for sore eyes. I wonder how the Gorons fared after the Great Calamity. I sure hope everyone down there is still going strong after every... Huh? Hey, look at that. Still going strong indeed. Ha! there's any reason that anyone couldn't walk up to the divine beasts and just chat with them right I don't know it's very confusing Daruk's protection someone's calling my name I think maybe Link Yes, I know Thanks that voice. To you, all of the divine beasts have returned to us, and the spirits Not of the champions are all of the free. divine beasts. We will all be awaiting your clash with Ganon at Hyrule Castle. So this is divine. This is Daruk's protection. Basically, if you're shielding and you get hit, it. Uh, it does like a little counter thing. It blasts. Well, it doesn't blast them, but it it forces the the attacker back. Um, sometimes they. I don't think they lose their weapon, but they. It's like a kind of a critical hit kind of thing. Basically, they kind of shut her around or whatever. Anyway, it's fine. Uh, it'll protect you. It doesn't. It doesn't take too terribly long to to regenerate after you've used it. Hmm. Huh? Yes. Goron Roland is the only way to travel. Hey, hey how's it going? Color me impressed. 
<laughs> just when my back pain went away, I was all ready and raring to go at it myself. Uh, <laughs> made it look like I was just fibbing. Yep. A sharp blade that Daruk himself once wielded. It's not sharp. It's not a blade. Yeah, okay. Luckily, I have this torch that I can get rid of. The boulder breaker. I don't know, maybe... Maybe it's technically a, a blade, but it looks awfully... You know... I've always kind of thought that was more blunt than than sharp. Regardless, this is like the the super powered version of the cobble crusher or the the stone smasher. <laughs> And if you break it, you go over to this guy. Uh, over here, this blacksmith dude. And he'll fix it for you. Rohan. I guess he's asleep. He's got an apprentice. Over here, this best guy. Yeah, so he wants me to destroy Talos, which is pretty easy with this, uh, this boulder breaker. Okay, so that is, that's the last one. Um, the... There's actually the champion's um, stuff. Should be populating somehow. Hmm. Maybe I have to warp. Got four of them. see all the divine beasts off in the the distance Link. shooting lasers all over the place Link 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 Oh I've whoops. witnessed your journey You have overcome every challenge laid before you Ruta Rudania Rudania Naboris Naboris All of the divine beasts are now free That's true with the strength you have attained, I am certain you can unlock the powerful force hidden within. Hidden within where? Go to the Shrine of Resurrection and return the Sheikah Slate to its terminal. Dun dun dun, Champion's Ballad. This is really cool, and we want to do this pretty much right away. But not right now. We're going to take a break. Uh, and when we come back, we'll we'll start on the champion's ballot. Champion's ballot takes a long time. Uh, I've only done it once because it came out. It was like the last DLC thing, so I only did it on Master Quest, and uh, it took took a little while. You do there's a whole bunch of there's a whole bunch of shrines involved with it, but we'll get to that. 
we'll get to that later. So uh, that'll be it, and I will catch you guys later.